les dejo en presencia del doctor Alfred Sears, tema células madre mesenquimales y telómeros, su función en el proceso de envejecimiento, discusión de casos de estudio, parte 1. Lo siento, no, no hablo español. So today I want to talk to you very, about a very specific aspect of anti-aging. It is by far the most promising and probably the most important and arguably the most important um, discovery in the history of medicine. This process of controlling how the telomere works, controlling how the genetic signal for how old the cell is Because we can get inside that mechanism and alter it. it. It has the promise to cure pretty much every chronic disease, and I believe we'll be involved in every specialty in medicine, and it's coming soon. So the basic picture is the length of the telomere, which is that terminal portion of the chromosome. There's a repeat sequence on the end of the chromosome that serves as a cap and keeps the chromosome from unraveling. It preserves the physical integrity of the chromosome. Well, each time a cell divides, that terminal portion, a little thin piece of the telomere, is not copied. Because if you think about it, you are a lot different at 50 than you are at 2, right? You look like a different organism. But you still have exactly the same genes. Because it changes what we thought we knew about aging. We don't age by wear and tear. We don't age like a car. Because you have the capacity to replace your parts. And you do replace your parts for a time. But then you are told not to. A genetic program advances that tells you to stop replacing your parts. To replace them slower and with less and less uh, vital parts. Uh, this is the summary slide. These are all the things that we have in our formula that have all been proven to either preserve telomere length, um, protect telomere biology, or activate the enzyme telomerase. Now, stem cells. Stem cells are, are going to be the future for a lot of different things in medicine. Again, the FDA has missed the boat here. The FDA and the U.S., they really like to stop us from doing anything with stem cells uh, because they're not a drug and they're not getting their, their cut on it, presumably. Um, but stem cells, that genie is out of the bottle. It's going forward around the world. There's nothing that those bureaucrats and much and they're going to be able to do about it. It will be the future of nearly every specialty of medicine. It has the capacity to read their body parts. The problem is that stem cells are, are most effective when they're taken from younger individuals. So what would happen if we took the stem cells out of the body from an elder individual, inserted the gene for telomerase ex vivo, and then grew those, expanded those cell cultures, and then used that modified stem cell population to reintroduce it to that 85-year-old? That's what's going to happen. Uh, thank you very much for your time.